ETH we start with monthly chart just I want to give a quick update now as we can see the market is moving now the question is whether this is the start of the up move or we are expecting to see this one, this one turn to deeper correction for the next drop all right anyway uh, to make it very simple, I'm expecting this one to be in relative to what we had here. That's mean we are following it following by deep, the correction for continuation. That's mean mostly we are expecting to, for the price to continue and we are expecting to see the breakout of the all time high. But it doesn't mean this one, the possibility for this one to be a really sharp similar to what we have we had here is very really less. That means it followed by DP correction similar to what we had here before we see the breakout of the all time high. Anyway. If you refer to my last analysis, we discussed how we can look for trade based on daily chart. And even we mentioned we are we were looking for buy. Okay. By the way, we move to the weekly chart. Again, if you refer to my last analysis, since the price was within this move, we mentioned we are looking for buy. Because then we mentioned if we get any opportunity for buy within this range, we will take it. And the question was whether the price can break this top or not. Because we mentioned if the price couldn't break this top, there we, then we are expecting this one to three-way flat relative to what we had here for the next drop and we mentioned if we get the next drop we can expect the price drop to 500 before we see the next move all right but we mentioned if the price could break this top then mostly we are looking for continuation and it depends how the price can we can see the breakout okay and as we can see the price broke this one now the question is whether this is the start of the up move or still we can expect this one turn to a flat okay if we look at the overall market because most of the market, most of the chart, they're following the Bitcoin, then the possibility for the next drop is very less. But we need to be aware of this option. But what we are looking for, we are looking for continuation. And as of what I mentioned, based on uh, the monthly chart, we are looking for continuation, but we are expecting to see the deeper correction before we see the breakout of the all time high. That's mean from now we will look for buy. And but based on weekly chart, I don't see any trade setup yet. And if we move to a uh, daily chart, if we refer to our analysis, since the price was exactly within here, I mentioned any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. We have been looking to see the breakout of the previous top. And this is the targets we have been looking for. Again, if we refer to my last analysis, since the price was within here, I mentioned any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. And what we are looking for, we are looking for breakout of the break, uh, previous top. With the breakout of this top, then we are looking for the target as 2.4 following by 2.8, 2,400 uh, and 2,800. And I mentioned the breakout of this zone is very important for us. And as what we can see here, the price broke this stop. Okay, that's mean for those traders, whoever get the trade for buy within this range, either move their stop loss to break even or book some profit because the target I'm looking for, since the price could break this one, at this point, I'm looking for 2.4, 2400 and flowing by 2.8 to 2800 all right that's mean this is the targets i'm looking for and with the then after the price tag the first target the breakout of this one is very important for us this is what i mentioned because with the breakout of this one that's mean with the breakout of the 2.8k then we are expecting for continuation and then we can expect the price at least can break the all-time high okay but at this point for those three there is no true i mean we don't have any new trade setup but but for those traders they get the trade for buy at least move their sub loss to break even or book some profit no if we put this stop in relative to what we have here if we refer to the indicators we see we have a divergence and as well here okay but at this point we don't need to really care about the divergence okay the divergence we will expect to see the correction for continuation but the possibility for the divergence to show us i mean to give us a next drop that's mean with the breakout of the lowest price of this correction is very less. Okay. By the way, we don't need to really care about that. If you get any opportunity for buy, we will take it. But based on the daily chart, I don't see any trade setup. And if I move to lower time frame, forward chart, again, based on forward chart, if you put this top in relative to the here, I don't think we have a divergence. All right. But even based on this, another indicator. But if I put this top, and relative to what we had here, I mean this the pre this top. If you refer to the indicators, we had a we can exp we look for the divergence similar to the daily chart. Again, we don't need to really care about that. And if you get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. No, based on forward chart, I don't think this is a really good idea to look for buy unless this one turned to a deeper correction. We consider as a correction before we take the next trade. All right. 
That's why we don't have any trade setup here. And if I move to lower time frame, one hour chart, even based on one hour chart, it doesn't mean the price cannot continue from here. If you want to look for buy, the only option is to put a warning tree above the stop. But the best thing is if the price drops some more, then we put a warning tree above here, we take the trade. Okay, even at this point, we can put a warning tree above this top. And what we want, we want the price sharply tag, break, and continue similar to what we had here. What we need to be you know is really risky because if the price tag within the first hours or maximum second hours, if there is no continuation, we should take over the trade. All right. By the way, if we, it depends on the strategy the traders are using, if we get any opportunity for buy from here, also we can take it as a short term trade. And if we refer to the indicators, we cannot look for the divergence. All right. That's why for me, if I get any put, but here we can see the divergence based on this one. If I put this one, there is no breakout. That's mean we don't. Uh, anyway, uh, I thought maybe this one, because as we can see, this candle, it doesn't break the previous stop. Then we cannot consider this one as a divergence. As I mentioned, we don't have a divergence, but again, it depends on the strategy the traders they are using. Okay, for me, if I get any opportunity for buy from here, I will take it, but I will consider it as a short term. But before I take the trade, I prefer this one drop some more before I take the next trade. Okay, anyway, based on daily chart for the ETH, the targets we are looking for is 2.4K following by 2.8K. And what we want to receive, we want to see the breakout of this zone. All right. And in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.